Hello everyone, my name is Minisethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about heterocedasticity, multicollinearity and autocorrelation problem. First of all, we are going to talk about heterocedasticity. What do you mean by heterocedasticity? This uh, equation we have already studied in a simple linear regression model. This will be called error term. In simple linear regression model, we assume variance of this error term will remain constant. In simple linear regression model, we assume variance of this error term will remain constant. This will be called a homocedasticity. And heterocedasticity is opposite of homocedasticity. That means in case of heterocedasticity, variance of error terms are not constant. So, we can say that heterocedasticity is a situation where variance of error terms are not constant. It is changing from observation to observation. So, where does the problem of heterocedasticity mainly arises? Problem of heterocedasticity mainly arises in case of cross-sectional data. Cross-sectional data capture information about different entities at same point of time. For example, you are collecting income data from multiple households at same point of time. So, cross-sectional data involves observation about multiple entities. Uh, for example, it involves information about a firm, individual uh, and uh, country. Obviously, these information can vary in terms of size, income and other characteristics. And these variation can change variance of error term, eventually create problem of heterocedasticity. Now we will see sources of heterocedasticity. Outliers. What do you mean by outliers? Outliers are values which lies far away from majority of data. Outliers are values which lies far away from majority of data. Here you can see sequence 3, 5, 8, 9, 11 and 80. All these values are close to each other. All these values are near to each other. But 80 is far away from uh, all these uh, values. So this will be called outlier because outliers are values that lies far away from majority of data. And outlier deviate overall patterns of data and become cause of a change in variance of error term and eventually become source of a problem of heterocedasticity. Second source of heterocedasticity is incorrect model specification. For example, you are using linear model to fit data which are generated by non-linear system. Next problem is multicollinearity. Multicollinearity means when two or more independent variables in regression model are highly correlated with each other. Multicollinearity means when two or more independent variable in regression model are highly correlated with each other. But how this can be problem because High correlation make difficult to isolate individual effect of each independent variable on dependent variable. For example, demand is dependent variable, fashion and preferences are independent variable. Because demand depend on fashion and preferences. As we know, fashion and preferences are independent variable which are highly correlated with each other. As we know, our preferences are influenced by fashion. And individual preferences make a fashion. So, we can say the fashion and preferences are highly correlated with each other. Can you isolate how much only fashion influence our demand? No. Similar, can you isolate how much only our preferences influence our demand? No. Because these two independent variables are highly correlated with each other. So, we can say the high correlation make difficult to isolate individual effect of each independent variable on dependent variable which lead to unstable coefficient and inflated standard error. We understand multicollinearity with one more example. Here y is our dependent variable and we assume uh, dependent variable is body mass index. x1 and x2 are independent variable x1 is weight, x2 is height. As we know, our uh, BMI depend on weight and height. But 
weight and height are highly correlated with each other. That's why it is impossible to completely isolate effect of height on uh, BMI. Similar, it is impossible to isolate uh, effect of uh, weight on our uh, BMI. Obviously, this is a problem. And this problem generated because of multicollinearity. And variance inflation factor is a most uh, common test which we use to identify problem of multicollinearity. This test identify extent to which coefficient become unstable due to multicollinearity. Now we are going to talk about next problem autocorrelation. In simple linear regression model we studied value of error term of period 1 is not related to value of error term of period 2. That means there is no relationship between error term of different period. But autocorrelation means when there is relationship between error term of different period. Autocorrelation means when there is some relationship between error term of different period. Or we can say that when error term of two period are correlated with each other, it will be called autocorrelation. But how autocorrelation can be a problem? Violation of independence assumption. Uh, we are using so many tests by assuming uh, error term of different periods are not related to each other. But if they are related to each other, obviously violation of independence assumption. Autocorrelation can lead to underestimation or overestimation of standard error. If autocorrelation is present, that means model is not fully capture relationship in data. Where does autocorrelation problem mostly arises? Autocorrelation problem mostly arises in case of time series data. Time series data are collected at consistent time interval. For example, daily website traffic, hourly temperature reading, stock prices, monthly sales figure. Why autocorrelation problem mostly arises in case of time series data? Because value of future variable influenced by value of past variable. For example, stock price today may be similar to stock price yesterday. Obviously, this will be create correlation between error term of different period and eventually lead to problem of autocorrelation. And uh, Darbin Watson uh, test we use to detect autocorrelation problem. So, this is all about today's lecture. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.